we have come up with five pillars that we'll be looking at strategy through. These five pillars are, one, a pillar to minimize a direct impact of climate and amplify our tree planting program. A pillar to ignite our customers, a customer's transition to a low carbon operating model. A pillar to mitigate the impact of climate related risks to a long term performance. On the social side, having talked about the things we have done, a pillar to enhance the impact of our community engagement model, and certainly on governance, a pillar to optimize our corporate governance. We have making 15 very bold commitments, three under each of these pillars, which is what we are unveiling today. So if I may start with the very first pillar, to minimize our direct impact on climate and amplify our tree planting program. We're making these three commitments. One, that by 2030, NCBA shall be directly responsible for the planting of 10 million trees across the region. 10 million trees across the region. <laughs> that by 2030, we will fully eliminate, fully eliminate single-use plastics and also recycle 100% of our waste by 2030. We will also green our supply chain and transform all our corporate gifting to be sustainable. So the gifts that you get from NCB as our customers, please, when you get one that's not speaking to sustainability, return it <laughs> and remind us this, about this commitment. More importantly, on the second pillar, which is to ignite our customers' transition to a low carbon operating model, we're making the commitment that we will mobilize over 30 billion shillings of green and sustainable financing to our customers to accelerate the transition. So 30 billion commitment that we're making today. that we will, working again with partners, invest in deploying electric vehicle charging stations across the region. This being a very important commitment, because I think people want to buy electric vehicles, but one of the things that have been missing is charging stations. Today we shall demonstrate this commitment by unveiling two for our staff and for our customers, that we have installed over the past one month. And further, we shall make sure that the knowledge about climate change, the knowledge about the ethos of ESG are trans transmitted to, our, to the public and to our customers by developing a change the story knowledge platform to inspire and capacitate the public towards this change. On the pillar to mitigate the impact of climate related risks to our long term performance, again, we have made three commitments. One is we are undertaking a complete group wide carbon audit this year. And once the numbers are determined, we're making the commitment by 2030 will have greater than 50% reduction from that number. Greater than 50% reduction from the number of uh, emissions that we are responsible for as NCBA. We will align starting to the 2015 Paris Agreement and reduce our financed emissions by 2030, working with our customers, and we shall do so by embedding their assessment of climate-related risks in our lending investment and financing activities. When it comes to our community engagement model, we shall enhance the impact of our work by doing a number of, the, of things, but we make these commitments publicly. That first of all, charity begins at home. We shall invest 
to train and ignite our over 3,000 staff to make a difference through the I Change the Story program. And please do hold us accountable. Do hold my staff accountable. We will deploy 100 million annually to support communities in which we operate. That's another comment, regardless of the budget. That means whether we are budgeting to have a loss that year or not, 100 million shall be committed towards supporting communities in which we operate. <laughs> and we will champion inclusive communities through regional sport development. Number five, a pillar to optimize our corporate governance. And under this pillar, again, we are making very publicly these commitments. One, that we will steer, we will steer at least 30% of our general services procurement spend to women and youth. We will promote diversity, equity, and inclusion at all levels of operations. And that speaks to the 51% number that I talked about, that this is going to be a challenge at every level, not just at the bottom of the pyramid. We will provide targeted mentorships and skills for women and youth to ensure that they can fully participate in our and others' procurement processes. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the commitments that we want to make publicly. There are many commitments that we are making internally for our staff as well, and that speak to individual staff, they speak to what we call houses within the organization, we are organized in houses, there are commitments within the houses, and commitments within departments, and all those will add up to the sustainability agenda. This is not being done, it's not being anchored fully on its own, because in a couple of weeks, we shall be hosting the Africa Climate Week. And His Excellency has challenged all of us to do something. And I think that's a challenge that not just our president here in Kenya has given us, but the presidents in all the countries we operate, whether that be Tanzania, Rwanda, Uganda, the presidents have come up with bold commitments towards sustainability. And, uh, and so our NCBA agenda, all strategies being, should be seen in that light, adding up to the bigger picture. To hold ourselves accountable to not just these commitments that we made today, we are also today signing to the UN Global Compact. And therefore, we will be signing to the 10 principles that the UN Global Compact aims to achieve across human rights, across labor, across environment, and certainly speaking to anti-corruption. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to join us on this journey. These commitments are only doable if all of us as the community that gives us permission to operate also join us in this journey.